Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. Today, in the After Effects tutorial series, we are going to learn a simple masking text reveal effect. It is very elegant and looks a quite eye-catching effect. So let's see what we have to create. Now let's see that how it is created. First go to Composition, New Composition, give it any name that you want. I'm naming it Masking Text Reveal. Frame rate of 30 seconds is good and the duration of 5 seconds is OK. Then hit OK. Now, we need to import an image that will be treated as our background instead of a solid color. So I have this image which I have just dragged and dropped into my composition. Hit S to bring up scale and adjust its dimensions so that you are happy with the end product of your composition. After that, we need to just remove all these colors and bring a black and white color. So go to effects and presets and search for tint. Apply this tint effect onto this image and this will change its color to pure black and white. Now go to the image layer and hit T to bring up opacity and change its opacity to around 20%. With this now you have created a very good background for your composition. Now just lock it so that you don't accidentally move it here and there. The next thing we are going to do is add a text layer. So just go to the text tool and type in any text that you want. I'm typing text text and uh, you may want to change its color to anything you like but I am changing it to white. Okay, now I am going to increase its size to around 200 pixels. Yes, that's good and I am going to align it to the center both horizontally and vertically. That's good. The next thing that I am going to do is create a mask for this text. So make sure that your layer is selected. Go to the rectangle tool and uh, just draw a rectangle that is covering all of your text like this. Now what we will do is uh, just hit M to bring up this mask path option. The current position of the text is what we want our text to be at the final position. So just move forward in time around 20 frames would be alright. Add a keyframe by clicking on this stopwatch icon beside the mask path. Go on to the very first frame and change the position of this mask path. Then go to the first frame and just move its position around here. That's good. You will see that a keyframe is uh, automatically being added over here. Now the next thing we want to do is uh, just add a line. So make sure none of your layers is selected. Grab onto this pen tool and draw a line. Uh, for this you want that um, there should be a straight line and uh, you need to make sure that your fill type is set to none and your stroke type is set to solid. The stroke width must be around 9 to 10 pixels. 10 pixels is fine. Like this it's looking good. The next thing you have to do is just go to this shape layer. Make sure that your proportional grid is not turned off because we don't need it anymore. And uh, just expand it. Here you will find an option of add. Go to it and just select the trim paths option. Um, now you have to just expand the trim paths and um, just keyframe the values of start and end and ch change both of them to 50% each. Now move forward in time around 10 frames and change the value start to 0% and the value of end to 100%. Now what you need to do is um, select your shape layer as well as your text layer. Hit U to bring up both the keyframes simultaneously. Select all the keyframes of the text layer and make sure that they are started as soon as the keyframes of the text layer have ended or maybe a few frames after that, it's good. Uh, now, the animation is like this. Uh, 
okay so now this uh, layer shape layer is first appearing and then this text is appearing but this text is appearing very slow so we just bring up its keyframes and uh, instead of the difference of 20 frames between them we just decrease the difference to around 10 frames that is it is a uh, starting at around 12 frames and ending at 20 frames so just move forward and bring it to 21 or 22 frames that's good now uh, we need to move the position of this shape layer as soon as the shape layer is formed we need to move its position towards the right so that it appears that this shape layer is bringing the text along with it so we just need to move a shape layer a little bit over here hit p on the keyboard to bring up the keyframe just go to the first frame where this text layer is animating click on the stopwatch icon go forward to the next frame and change the x coordinate to this now uh let's see what we have created in our animation up till now that looks good but all of the animation is moving pretty slowly so we just go to the shape layer hit you to bring up the keyframes select both of them and just move them a little bit towards each other and um, towards like this okay so they will be starting at around two frames and would be ending at around eight frames so the distance of five to six frames between them is good for the shape layer to start just select all of them and hit f9 on the keyboard to easy ease them now as soon as this animation is completed select the position keyframes and easy ease them as well the same you have to do with the frames of the text layer just select them and hit f9 to easy ease them for a smooth animation now if we preview it the next thing we want is when the shape layer has already traversed over here we want text to be visible for about few frames and then the next text should be appearing in front of us so for that uh, when this shape layer has moved here that is uh, around 22 frames so we have to wait for this much of time we have to start our animation from about 20 frames after the shape layer has moved over here so just add a keyframe for the current position of the shape layer and change its position move forward to about 5 frames and um, just change its position Now, as soon as this uh, position of the shape layer is changing, we want this text layer to be removed and being replaced by another text layer. So first we have to bring up the animation for removing this text layer. Uh, we need to go forward, uh, sorry, backward in time around 10 frames. That is when the position of the shape layer is over here. We need to just add a keyframe for the mask path then go to 15 frames and change the position of this mask path to here so that this text layer is now not visible and at the same time we have to bring up another animation for the another text layer so make sure that none of your text layers are selected so that you add a new text layer or just you can go to this area right click go to new and add a text layer now you can type any text of your choice i have typed intro and uh, make sure to align it to the center both horizontally and vertically as well okay now the same drill we have to go with this layer as well we have to create a mask for this layer and make sure that the boundary of this mask is as close to the text as possible now we have to go to 10 frames we have to just um Okay, when we are at 15 frames, this is the final position where we want our text to be. To select this layer, hit M to bring up the mask path, keyframe it, 
go back to 10 frames we have to move it towards the right at this point so just move it a little bit that is okay now we want to change the color of this particular layer so that uh, there is somewhat a, a transition between them there are two ways to do that you can just select this text and change its color from over here or you can go to effects and presets and apply tint on this text layer and change its color by uh, changing map white to click on it and select any color that you want i'm choosing this red color and this is the hexadecimal value for this click ok and then your layer color is changed just select these two keyframes hit f9 to easy ease them so that's what we have created and it's as you can see a pretty good animation a clean looking animation and it's very simple to create and this is known as the masking text reveal so hope you all have enjoyed it and um, Keep watching the After Effects tutorials on Programming Knowledge YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.